Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how I made my 3D text fly in effect in 3D element. After my reels you asked to show you how I did it so, enjoy. Before we begin, I want to remind you that we are near to 10,000 subscribers and as I promised, I will give away my RSMB Pro plugin. If you are new here and didn't know about it anything, just follow me on Instagram and write me a magic word, plugins, and you will get, Glitchify, Deep Glow, Twitch, and on 10k, you will get RSMB Pro and as a bonus for the best subscribers, I will give away 3 more plugins. And now let's begin our tutorial. First of all grab a text tool and type anything you want. Toggle off your text layer now and then create new solid layer. I will name it to element and hit OK. Add element 3D on that solid layer. Expand custom layers and then expand custom text and masks. Change path layer 1 to a text you have created. Now click on scene setup. Click on extrude to open the text here. If your text is too large or small, click here on transform icon and enable normalize size. Go to presets and under materials click on physical. Choose any preset you will enjoy, in my reel, I have used Chrome. Expand extrusion model and click on the text preset you have chose. Add extrude to make text thicker, add bevel size. Add bevel depth. Note, I'm showing exactly what I did in my reel, you can play around with your text settings on your wish. Let's click on OK once you are satisfied with it. Expand group 1, then particle replicator, then particle look and open multi object and enable it. Now make sure you are at the beginning of your element layer and change position Z until the text is zoomed in like this. Click on position Z stopwatch icon and then go a few frames forward and bring your text back something like this. Now go to rotation and change rotation value to around 20. Scroll to very beginning of your layer and click on rotation stopwatch icon. Then scroll to very end of your element layer and change rotation to negative values. Let's quickly check it. And we have already this cool animated 3D text. Let's adjust it a bit more. Go down to position noise settings and scroll somewhere like this and add noise amount to around 0.30 and then click on stopwatch icon. Press U on your keyboard to open created keyframes and move that noise keyframe to the beginning of your layer. Now go forward like this, then right click on noise amount and select reset. Let's check it again. Looks cool, enable motion blur on element layer. Let's add deep glow on it to add some shine. If you don't have it, write me on Instagram to get deep glow for free. If the text is too bright, bring exposure down a bit. Now let's select our main clip and add exposure effect on it. Decrease the exposure to make clip darker. That's way better. Now let's select all keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make sure to select only position Z keyframes and then make a smooth curve like mine. Now scroll forward a bit where the text starts to zoom into the scene and then select your clip and add Gaussian blur on it. Click on blurriness stopwatch icon. Scroll forward a bit now and add blurriness to around 30. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.